stands out as what went wrong for Kelly there? Um, well, his fastball was up, and then he threw a couple of center cut fastballs. And, uh, you know, just his, his usually dependable slider, you know, wasn't working. They were just kind of spinning. But <clears throat> lost in the uh, lost in the loss was was the job that Gio did for us. You know, I mean, he threw the ball great. Um, I don't know, it's the second or third win that he lost. You know, um, late in the game. So um, you know, <clears throat> we just got to add on runs too because we had some possibilities to add on runs and uh, you know couldn't get a couple two out RBI hits. Is there anything you notice consistently with Sean when he's in for a second straight day? No. I mean, most relievers are, are better their second day and worse their third day. So, um, no, I mean, he had about the same velocity. He just didn't have the location. And, uh, um, you know, I don't know if him and Coder, either one of them are available for the second game since they've gone two days in a row. How tricky is it to manage uh, a game like this when you know there's another one tonight? Is it just you got to do what you got to do to try to win? Yeah, this one? Uh, yeah. Well, you got to do what you got to do, you know, to win that first one. Um, I mean, you know, you got an, a second game behind that. Uh, you know, we got an off day tomorrow, so it's uh, very important that we win this this second game. Seems like Trey is finding his rhythm a little bit. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing that? And, and what's yeah? Kind of the I difference? mean, he had three balls on the nose, and uh, nothing to show for it. The first couple balls, but. Like I told him, man, if you just keep, you just keep, uh, you know, keep hitting that ball the way you're hitting it today, he's going to get a lot of hits. And uh, we also have got to get better um, at, at our fundamentals, you know, namely because I don't know when the last time position player got a bunt down, you know what I mean? And that was a situation where you couldn't afford a strikeout, you didn't, you couldn't afford a double play, and uh, so we were trying to, on the road, we'd have played it differently. Because you know they have the last up, but at home, I mean, you know you're playing for the you know for the tie and the potential win. What did you like about the way Gio threw the ball today? Kind of well, won. yeah, I mean Gio, <clears throat> I mean he made pitches when he needed them. You know, I mean he had he had quite a few walks, and then we turned quite a few double plays right after the walks, and uh, so he kept the ball he kept the ball down when he needed to, uh, turned it over. Chain speeds, uh, his breaking ball wasn't quite as sharp as it had had been, but he pitched, you know, well enough to win. Yes. Uh, I may be adding wrong, but it looks like the bullpen's now given up 20 or 21 home runs, and mm -hmm. Kelly and Blanton have each given up six or seven. Yeah. Um, what's wrong with them from last year? And also, you've changed catchers since last year. Is there any difference in pitch calling? That's no. It's just it's a difference in. In, you know, location. It's all about location. You know, most of the time, if you throw the ball where you're trying to locate it, they're not going to. They might get a hit, but they're not going to hit it out of the ballpark. You know, so uh, I think it's a matter of location. I mean, those guys down there. I mean, they're trying big time, and they're they're all going crazy. Um, you know, trying to figure it out along with Mike Maddox and myself, and. Uh, I mean, it's a it's a big downer, you know, when you lose games late. But hey, man, we we just got to go back and uh, and try to win this game and then go forward. Along the line with, with Trey, um, yeah. are you seeing anything different with Michael Lay um, at the plate? I think it's three. Well, yeah, games. I mean, he's his pitch selection is better, you know, and uh, not swinging as many balls as he was in the dirt or balls up over his head. You know, if you get him in the strike zone, then you got a good chance of of putting wood on the ball. And, uh, you know, that's what I'm saying. How's it worth? Uh, he's so-so. I, I don't think J, uh, JW is, is, I don't think it's worth the risk of me trying to play in this second game because we got a day off tomorrow that I give him today. And then tomorrow then we we'll reassess his, his uh, physical being on Tuesday. The stuff coming out of bullpens in the last few years has been really good. Lots of guys throwing 98, everything. Is the stuff in your bullpen good enough to get the job done, or are the standards so high now that it needs upgrading? Mm, that's a very good question. I, You know, their stuff's good enough. I mean, you don't have to throw 98. I mean, we got we got a couple guys throwing 98 that still get hit sometimes. You know, 98 is not, um, you know, 
Um, there have been a bunch of guys that got the job done throwing a whole lot less than 98. Like I said, it's about change of speeds, about location. It's mostly location, you know, and if you locate well and, and you have a, a good enough breaking ball to keep them off your fastball, then, you know, that's what it's all about. Yes. The one thing they've studied, they've only found a couple of things that have a carryover effect. Mm -hmm. One is throwing out a guy at the plate, mm -hmm. but the other one is blowing leads I late, and, and it often leads to performance in the future. What is it? What do you do about that? Why is it just? Hey, if I knew that, I'd, I'd bottle it, you know. And uh, you know, I, I knew that a long time ago that you know one of the biggest downers is a blown save. You know, because it, it carries over, and it also carries over to the opposition where they think that, hey, man, uh, you know, we can get in their bullpen and and win the game. And so we have to reverse that, that thought process and that trend that, you know, when it gets to the sixth and seventh inning, you know, on, on the on your real good teams that I've had, you get to sixth and seventh inning, we know it, and they know that the game's over. And so uh, we just got to. We just got to go back to the drawing board, try to figure it out. You know, we've used different guys at different places and different guys late in the game. <clears throat> you know, we just got Coda and and, uh, and Kelly back, and uh, so um, as to your question, uh, I don't know right now. The last thing, because you have a good lead in the division and you're a bunch of games over 500, does that allow you to have patience with a bullpen and not push for a trade, or is it well? You know, just pushing for a trade, but ain't nobody trading right now. You know, I mean, uh, sometimes you have no no choice but to have patience. I mean, nobody's gonna drop down a drop you down a knock down closer out of the sky until there's some teams out of it. You know, so. Um, you know, we have to look from, you know, within right now. Because, you know, people know when you're in need, and when they know you're in need, then they have to rob you of your system. Okay.